Good day, beautiful citizens of YouTube. I am going to try something different today. I've been watching this channel called Holy City Orchids. You can click on the link right here. So if you like orchids or you want to learn about orchids, it's a great channel to visit. Anyhow, she has this idea that she does called out and abouts. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go out and look for cat ear and we're going to pick the unbudded flower to cook as a vegetable and right now it's at the perfect stage so what do you say you want to come along with me and forge some cat ear and cue music Exactly what we're looking for. So you notice the leaves are similar to dandelion, except they're they're fuzzier, which is why they're called cat's ear, because it's just like fuzzy tip of a cat's ear. Even the flower and the seeds are pretty similar to dandelion. Dandelion cat's ear. However, it's the stem here that we're going to harvest and cook up. So let's collect enough of these for dinner. We're back and we got our harvest. Anyway, this is my first time trying cats here, so I have no idea how good it's going to be. Um, there's reports that it tastes similar to asparagus. We'll see. Uh, I want to show you something real quick. I learned about cat's ear from this book, Edible Wild Plants, by Mr. John Callis. If you want a great book for learning how to forage, exploring new plants to try, uh, I highly recommend this. This book is loaded with all sorts of common plants that you see all the time, and you're thinking, wow, I have that in my backyard and I never knew that was edible. With that said, so it's dinner time. I have the cat's ear here ready to go. I have my rice here cooking and soon I'll put some fish in the oven. So I think the way I want to cook these guys, I'm just going to steam them in this Pyrex glass here in the oven. And I want to put some olive oil on it. And add just a little bit of water. You see this? Gonna add put some simple over the top. Three fifty. Okay, that's gonna preheat. And I'll throw that in there. Get the fish going. By then, the rice will be done, and we get to see the results. All right. So, should be all ready. Would you look at it, would ya? Know what you're thinking? Wow, Henry, you eat really healthy. Um, I know it looks like that. I really don't eat that healthy. I mean, I'm not terrible. I don't eat too much junk food, but I mean, come on. This, this is extremely healthy right here. As we all prepare 
to see Henry's first bite of cat's ear. The moment is tense as we wait to see what Henry thinks. Okay, let's do this. That's surprisingly really good. Um, I wouldn't compare it to asparagus. It's really, really, really subtle. I mean, it's not... It's not bitter like you'd imagine, like dandelion, or most wild greens. It's kind of light buttery flavor. <clears throat> There's just very, very, very subtle bitterness, but not offensive at all. Um, wow, that's, that's honestly pretty good. I'm impressed. I would recommend that if you feel comfortable identifying this, uh, try it. That it's cat's ear is really good. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm just finishing up. Wow, that was good. If you have any experiences with cat's ear, let me know. Put it down there in the comment box. That's what it's for. It's for you people to express yourself. This is my video. I express myself, but now it's your turn. If you like this video, thumbs up. Much appreciated. Happy foraging. Goodbye.